It takes a certain kind of man to skim mountain peaks at 400 miles an hour, to race down a lonely, treacherous ski slope, to conquer the sea on a surfboard, to push a machine to incredible speeds. It takes daring, confidence, individuality, consummate skill. And if we add the talent and technical know-how of a top-flight photographer, we get a picture of an extraordinary man, John Stevens. Second unit photographer is the modest name given to the important role John Stevens plays in the making of a major motion picture. He learned his trade in the Navy as an underwater photographer. Today, Stevens is the top man in his field. His current assignment, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's High Station Zebra. His job, to shoot the impossible. John got his first chance to show off his skills at Sun Valley. He astounded a film company shooting there with his unforgettable skiing photography. Discovery by Hollywood led Stevens to his biggest assignment before I Station Zebra. The awesome task of filming the sensational racing sequences for the motion picture Grand Prix. The races were filmed live from the cars themselves. No process photography was used. It was all incredibly real. Stevens designed and built special remote control rigs and mounts for the film so that he was able to direct the movement of the cameras from inside or outside the cars. shots added still another dimension to the excitement and breathtaking action that made Grand Prix the most successful racing picture ever produced. Another Stevens innovation. A special gyro mount to put an entire audience on the end of a surfboard or on a pair of water skis. Ice Station Zebra is the story of a search. A search that brings the United States and the Soviet Union to the brink of a nuclear war. Stephen's first job was to fly a dangerous 10 feet above the water at Lake Tahoe as a prelude to skimming the teeth of icebergs at 400 miles per hour. Because of the extremely low altitude required for filming, Stevens did have some problems. At the North Pole, supersonic jets fly over a tiny weather station known as Ice Station Zebra. At this lonely outpost, the United States and Russia will clash in a strategic polar showdown. The Cinerama version of the best-selling novel stars Rock Hudson, Jim Brown, Ernest Borgnine, Patrick McGowan, and in his own way, John Stevens. Talent, training, and years of experience paid off in the challenge of Ice Station Zebra. With the cooperation of his old boss, the United States Navy, John set about doing the impossible once again. A nuclear submarine, the USS Ronquil, was loaned to MGM for shooting the picture, and Stevens immediately took over with special cameras, electronic devices, newly designed equipment, and dozens of technicians.
Stevens worked out a special camera case, sealed against moisture and able to withstand the tremendous pressures underwater. The electronically operated camera was placed in the case along with a tiny closed circuit television camera. The entire device could be mounted anywhere on the ship. As a test, it was positioned high on the sub's conning tower. A TV monitor was placed in the safety of the ship's interior. Not only could Stevens and director John Sturges control the camera from inside, but they could actually see the kind of results they were getting on film. The test was a great success. And the camera position was changed in order to film the first continuous focus scene of a crash dive. station zebra scenes is no accident. The work of cameraman John Stevens makes them incredibly real. And this reality makes the difference between an ordinary movie and a great one.